is still part of the content of Paul's prayer. Only now in verse 1 does he turn his attention to the resurrection of the believer. He says that the same power which raised Jesus from the dead raised you from spiritual death. And you'll see here how he paints that graphic picture of what we were before our spiritual resurrection in verses 1 through 3. Notice what he says. He says, beginning at verse 1, And you were dead in your trespasses and sins in which you formerly walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now working in the sons of disobedience. Among them we too all formerly lived in the lust of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. I mean, look at the graphic picture there. And I want you to notice in these first three verses, he's telling us what we were before our spiritual resurrection. Here's what you were before you became a child of God. And if you'll notice the first thing that he says there in verse 1, he says, you were dead in your trespasses and sins. So he says, first off, you were dead in sin. That's total depravity. Matthew 7, verses 21 through 23. Matthew 7, verses 21 through 23. This is Jesus talking about when he is going to judge. And he says, not, not, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do so many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. The word know there, the word knew, how do we understand? Does that mean Jesus never knew who they were? Does that mean Jesus didn't know every action they were ever going to commit and every action that they did commit? No, right? Because he does know because he's sovereign and he's omnipotent and he's omniscient, so he does know. So we know that it can't mean what the precedent view says it means, and that is that he just knows what they're going to do. That's not where this word know comes from, right? When he said, I never knew you, Nathan was an intimate relationship. I never knew you in a saving sense. I never knew you as one of my own. Now take that.